It's like that guitar player guy was talking about the, the, that those tones that 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 I you know he used to hate when he was young, just like me, and now I love them. Oh, it's beautiful, dude. I don't wanna touch you too much, Jella. <laughs> Go making love to you might drive me crazy. I know you know that love is the way to make it. I don't wanna be there when you decide to break it. It sounds like a country song. But yeah, dude, listen to Hysteria. Je Jella stole that tape from me too, actually. And she's been listening to it. She's like, it looked really good. And I wanted to make fun of it with my friends. But then I started listening to it. And I was like, I admit, not really. But then I heard like Love Bites and Hysteria and shit that was on there. And that's like really heavy music that I, I'm like, I know. You actually heard that though? You heard Love Bites and you liked it? You, it made sense to you? Uh, it's a real... I think Mutt Lang wrote that, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I think you're right. I think Mutt Lang did write that. You're talking about Celine, or no, you're talking about, man, I feel like a woman. That was his wife, too. Yeah, no, he wrote that. He wrote it as a country song. You didn't tell that a master craftsman wrote that fucking song, Daddy. I mean, it's like really touching how the chorus goes up, the pre chorus goes up twice. It really builds you up for the orgasmic chorus. I'm like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. It's, if you were to, uh, Jell, if you were to take that song like to a song workshop like I used to go to, and uh, you know, where you try to learn to write better songs and you listen to other people's shits, they, they'd probably cite that song as a master. Yeah, it's a song you could uh, learn a lot from. It's, it's, it's up there. Def Leppard's Love Bites, it's a real, I mean, it, it's like a Beatles shits. No matter which way you put it on a master songsman's table, no matter how you chop it up, it, it's just, yeah, it's a master. It's a master piece of work. Ah, I figured. Well, I, you know, it took me years to understand that, Joe. I'm, I'm glad you got that, but it took me a long time to figure that out about love bites and those songs. A lot of people think it's just disposable ladies' music. It's not. <laughs> you know. But geez, I'm so glad I get to fucking reminisce with you over the shit. How old were you, Dada, when that came out? I think I was like 11. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and to me, it was just cool sounds on the radio. I didn't really, you know, understand any of it. Ah. You don't think it's cheesy like the rest of the young kids? Nah, I mean, if you, it's like you said, you do it. You put that on any, any, yeah, dude. She understands these shits. That's the kind of girl I like, right? You got to be honest with yourself. Play more Def Leppard, everyone. Say no, vote no on 16. No more country music. Unless it's Mutt Lang. Alright? Uh, I'm sure it fucking sucks. Yeah, it does. It does, though. It's the data face. I know, baby. I know what you're gonna say. It's the music that you're sitting in a holding cell and you can overhear, yeah, at the front desk. It's like I gotta get out of this fucking jail. Echoing down the cell block. And loud cop echoes and uh, paperwork and blah blah blah. I, I, the shit gives me a makes my skin crawl. <laughs> These institutionalized fuckers grow to like it. <clears throat> punch in, punch out, fucking music. It's good. But that's your job as a cop and shit? What do you know about music? Why should you enjoy music? You're supposed to be Orwellian in 1984. You should be doing a robo dance somewhere. Some, some bad robot dance. <laughs> Arrest everyone. Put your dick in everything. Ah, Go too far. You know? That's your, that's your song.